everybody. Zach here from Mythos, and this is the Hephaestus. The Hephaestus is our Black Friday release for this 2022, and we're really excited for you guys to finally see this thing we've been teasing for a while. So what is this? That's a really good question. It started life as a Jordan Boston uh, derivative. I dove into that circuit and I thought, well, this gain control kind of sucks and the volume's a little, you know, it, it's a volume knob that's kind of boring. And I started poking and prodding with some pots wired to wires and discovered that in one particular position, if you adjust the voltage, you get a sub octave. And it was a total accident, a total surprise, and just made us all smile and stop what we were doing and go, what was that? So, the Hephaestus was born, and we're really excited uh, to release this thing. Uh, if you don't know, Hephaestus was the god of the, uh, of, of making things, of fire. He, he made Zeus's lightning bolt, and we thought, you know, that's a fitting name. So we gave it a nice red aesthetic with a warning knob because this thing's loud, it's freaky, it's weird, and it does all sorts of crazy stuff that we're still figuring out. Today I'm playing a Yamaha RSS-02T. Uh, Revstar with P90s into the Hephaestus, into the Tone King Imperial plugin by Neural DSP. And I'm running a little bit of drive on that thing because this thing, you know, into a clean amp, it sounds okay, but hitting something with a little heat on it, that's when things get special. So here's my bypass signal. <laughs> And for the majority of this demo, I'm going to stay kind of on the neck pickup because just like classic octave fuzzes that go up, this one likes that pickup position, except it goes down, which is uh, the fun part, right? So here we go. All the way up, you're getting the full voltage and you get that classic spirit in the sky kind of fuzz thing, you know, that sort of... <laughs> That sort of thing. But when you start playing single notes and you turn this knob down, you'll hear that octave drop and it's really cool. So check it out. So as notes fade, as the sustain is, is you know, going away, you'll hear that octave jump up. It almost sounds like there's sort of some wacky uh, warble effect happening on some of these notes. And the cool thing is when that starts to kick in, then you start to have control of it. You can use your volume knob. So if I roll my volume knob back, just staying in that you know A minor sort of position, uh, well here's it's rolled up to 10. I'm gonna roll it down a little bit. There it is. If I keep rolling down. And you have to lighten your touch a little bit. You start to get all sorts of crazy things, and that's all just with my hands, my pick, and the volume pot on my guitar. So as you continue to turn this knob down, you're dropping voltage and causing these octave things to jump out, and all this wacky stuff starts to happen. Uh, a few of these I've given to friends, and they said they swear they can hear an octave up effect and an octave down effect. Some people say they hear two octave down effects. It's totally dependent on how the transistor is working in your unit and your guitar and your amp and your hands. So it's very sensitive. If you go up the neck, well, let's, let's drop, put it to uh, noon here. Go up to the neck and play up in that uh, 10th fret position. <laughs> Really
really cool, spitty, gated, nasty fuzz tone. But as we roll the volume back or I lighten up my touch, you're gonna hear more wacky things jump out. <laughs> So as you can hear, this thing cleans up pretty well. It actually doesn't clean up all that great when it's all the way up. That's with the volume knob almost off, but when you bring it down to noon or below, it starts to really clean up. And as you continue to drop this, you'll hear Different things starting to jump out of the instrument. If we change keys again, let's go uh, down here to the F minor. <laughs> again. And that's with the guitar on 10 on the neck pickup. If we change pickup positions, We'll get all together different stuff. Maybe at the end of this, I'll, I'll give a rundown of some different tones. But let's drop it all the way down, all the way to nothing. But there's still something. Rolling that volume knob back. So as you can hear, this thing covers so much ground. I am in love with it. I think it's so fun. It's so different from what we normally make. And it just really does a lot of interesting things. It has a classic silicon transistor in the first position. It's a really simple circuit, but when you add to certain things and adjust certain values and make sure that transistors are in a very specific little gain range, this is what happens. And we're really excited about it and hope you guys really dig it because we know we do. So thanks for checking it out. You can get this thing on Reverb.com on Black Friday and the whole weekend. Until they sell out, we're going to have a run of around 100. And then after that, we're going to open it up for pre-order. And once those are gone, they're gone. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.